Okay, everybody's ready. You just started it? <laughs> yeah, it's just now starting. So, oh, okay. Okay, ready? Hi, everybody. Welcome back Hi. to our channel. Hi. This is Stitching with Friends. I'm Lisa. I'm Holly. I'm Laura. And we're all three finally back together again. This is our second time, but it's a little difficult trying to get our, you know, schedules all synced up and whatever, but we needed to make sure that we were all three together for this one because we've reached 500 subscribers. And so we're gonna have a giveaway and it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna wait until the end of the video to do that. So you don't wanna miss it because it's, it's, we've got some good stuff, okay? So, anyways, how is everybody doing? I'm doing good. We're doing okay. Um, I think everybody in my family now has had all their COVID shots. So, everybody's good there. Um, you guys have both had yours. Yeah, you and spouses, my husband so. has had yours. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're all good there. Um, nothing actually exciting going on, really. I haven't... I did brave it and finally went to a doctor appointment <laughs> and an eye doctor appointment. So I got out of the house for a little bit. Um, and you know what? I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel okay getting out of the house. But my daughter just informed me that, what did she say? The CDC is now saying that um, people that have been fully vaccinated are no longer going to be required to wear masks but I still don't feel comfortable going around without a mask. So I will be one that will still be wearing a mask out and yeah. about just because. I'll probably and because, still wear one too. Right, and because, you know, my parents are both 82 and I want to be able to still go over there and see them. And so I, I don't want to take any chances. So right. I'll still be wearing a mask when I go out and about. And I'm not really going i'm not really going out and about that much but for me it was a big step just to go to the doc i didn't want to go to the place where the sick people are because <laughs> i'm it, it was making me very paranoid but i went and once i got in there i, I and saw you know all the measures they were taking and whatever i felt really good about it so um mm -hmm. yeah i am i'm i'm gonna slowly start getting out and about so that'll be a good thing. But anyways, um, so I think today, besides our giveaway, we've got some whips and we've got a little bit of haul. And I have two FFOs. Oh. Yes. Because one of my whips turned into an FFO. <laughs> and then I had another one that um, I had a frame uh my, that my dad made um and i stitched had stitched previously something up for my sister and so i used that frame for that so i think uh what all do you guys want to do first whips or finishes um well, well let's go ahead and see your finishes yeah okay. do you guys have any finishes too no <laughs> no <laughs> <Are you>? okay <laughs> so um they're just small ones but the American flag one that I showed, uh, I think I showed it in my last video. Uh, but anyway, here it is. Oh, All yeah. finished. Neat. And look, I'm going to put this in so you can see the variegated threads. I love that it makes it look all kind of Oh, yeah. Good. Pretty. I like the black lines. I do. Okay, yeah, I like there's not very many. Attaching the fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not very many, but there's a few in there. And I just put a little bit of padding, you know, behind it. Um, and when I do it, I just put, you know, put your paper mm -hmm. on the back. Um, now, Lisa, did you did you lace the back of it? No. Oh. Well, I am lazy. And I used, <laughs> I just used painter's tape. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I had the stuff that I attached it to, the cardboard, it was kind of a 
it was more like a poster board, but it kind of had like a little bit of a slick uh, back to it. And mm -hmm. so the painter's tape stuck really well to it. Um, yeah. But it would come off of my fabric very easily. So mm -hmm. if I ever need to, I have a little bit more of a border on this. So if I ever decide to, um, you know, put it in a bigger frame or do whatever, I can just easily remove it and do that. Right. But I am going to give this one to my dad. Um, oh, he'll, he'll love that. Hang in their, I should have taken a picture, but in their living room, he used to be in the Air Force. And mm -hmm. my brother years ago had a big frame, probably maybe, I don't know, I don't know maybe 18 by 20 or something. It, it's a big frame. And he put some of his Air Force memorabilia in there. Mm -hmm. And so that's hanging up on the wall in their living room. And then my mom has been picking out, she does diamond painting, you know, and she has done a couple of patriotic ones um, and hung them up around his Air Force thing. And oh, yeah. so this they'll put up with his Air Force stuff uh, too. So and it, look, it looked really nice. But I, I gave it to him the other the other day, and I said, oh, on Mother's Day, we went over there, and I said, I'm sorry, but I have to take that back, because we're going to get home, and I forgot, I need to show this. So, Dad, you will be, if you're watching, you will be getting this back now. <laughs> so, anyways, there's my first finish. And then the second one I'm, I'm giving away, uh, I'm giving to my sister. And this is a frame that my dad made, and this is Come In For A Spell. Oh, wow. I and know. I forget, I f totally forget who, I totally forget the designer on this one. And it came yeah, from the magazine. I think it came originally out of a Stony Creek. Uh-huh. Um, now, did you, um, was the spell in purple, or did you change that? I, I really like it. The, the, you know, that one words in purple. I had started it in regular black. Mm -hmm. And then our friend um, who had stitched this at Show Me Retreat Gallery, Keisha, mm -hmm. had done hers in a different color. And I was like, doggone it. I like that one better. <laughs> so I unstitched. Yeah. I had probably the edge. Yeah, I love the purple. Done, and I picked it all out. And then got and it's the it's Krynik, so it's the Devil's Floss okay. <laughs> that I used. So you can kind of see the sparkle the... in it. So it turned, you know, it turned out pretty good. I, I don't know if you can tell, but right here I pulled a little too tight with my Krynik, and so it's made a little bit of a pucker right there. Um, but I you can't oh I wouldn't even know. notice. Yeah. Yeah, and then I ordered the little buttons that went with it. Yeah. So little, there's three. So this one I'm uh, giving to my sister. She's really, her holiday is for decorating is Halloween. Uh -huh, so yeah. she, they kind of go all out. So this one's for her. And the same thing, I just put, you know, put your paper on the back. Uh, and that's it. Those are my two finishes. Right. Okay. So why don't we do whips? And I think I'll start with my two and then we'll go to Holly and we'll let Laura's got several. <laughs> so we're gonna let her finish off with whips. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll just show you I had two um that I besides the flag one that I was working on. Um one of them was, of course, Death by a Cross Stitch. And this one was on, what did you say this, this was? Uh, heroic. heroic? Heroic? Yeah. So I just start in the top left corner of my designs. And so I got a little bit more done on there. Oh, yeah. See, see it's got all this modeling on it color yeah it's a great color mm -hmm. uh, so i got quite a bit more i'll just get it in there so you can see got quite a bit more done on that and that's for this plus 32 count yep 
which is plus 32 count. And then this one I've still got in the hoop, uh, but this one is from Rocking Horse Cross Stitch on Etsy and it's Welcome Foolish Mortals. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And I started with the bottom of the design here, uh, since it was more towards the middle. I normally start, you know me, I'm a left-hand corner starter, but on this one, I was like, eh. So I thought, well, I'll just start here and kind of mm -hmm. work my way up. So I've been stitching on it this way, um, you know, so I can get all this done. And oh, then I'll okay. move it around and, you know, do this. So anyway, this, I've made pretty good progress Ooh. on it. It's this lower part here is where I'm getting up into here now. So... You can see that. Can you see that? Oh, or yeah. Do. Gosh, I don't know how to do this. And is, is that uh, fabric, is it a PTP? And this is a picture this plus 32 count Monet. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty color. It's got great modeling in it. Great. Oh, I even see a little bit of blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Monet. Picture this plus. Monet. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's got a uh, little more light colors up at the top. Uh-huh. But then with some dark blue over here. And this is probably one that when I'm done with it, this one I'll probably have somebody, I might pay to have this one framed mm -hmm. so that I can show off. The fabric is just so pretty. And so I'd really like to show off as much of the fabric on here as possible oh, when yeah. it's done. So anyway, um, yeah, those are my two whips. So okay. Holly, you're next. All right. Well, um, so I still haven't been stitching. <laughs> I probably am the only one on floss tube that is not stitching right now. But I do yeah. plan on, I'm actually going to start a new one um, sometime, like, I'm hoping tonight. And I'm kind of debating between two different ones. Um, so this is the first one. I'm, I'm going to do a full coverage one uh, because I have recently discovered Pattern Keeper. And I'm yeah. really, really impressed with the the program and so i want to start a full coverage before you before you can you show people what it looks like the pattern um you yeah have um let me see if i i kind of have my i had to get an android um a samsung android because right now it's not available the pattern keeper app you can't get it for um iphones Right. So, yeah, the iOS. So, um, but I think there's plans um, to, you know, in the future. Okay, so I'm not going to say what pattern this is because I'm going to have to show. Right. Um, okay. Oops. Okay, apparently I left it in a, in a mode that, sorry. That's okay. Because I was okay. I so both an iPad and an iPhone, I can't use it, so right. I don't know what it looked like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so this is a pattern um that's supported by Pattern Keeper. Right. Um, not all uh, pattern makers are supported. Um, I know a lot of um the Gecko Rouge patterns are supported. Right. Um, and then also, um, I believe a lot of the heaven and earth patterns mm -hmm. are supported, um, and the, you know, there's various others, um, but it's really handy for full coverage because over on this side right here are the stitches in this pattern. And so mm -hmm. let's say that I want to stitch all of one color. So I just go over to this column. And so let's say that I want to stitch number 19's the border. Uh, so I just select that and it highlights oh, wow. all of that color. 
and then uh, I can zoom in. I, I don't want to show the pattern because right. I'll just show a random because you, you don't even know what pattern this is. So I can zoom in now and there's all of that color highlighted. So you and know, then as I cool. stitch, yeah. you want to select this little pencil and then you can um, say, okay, I have stitched this row and so it shows up in purple and then you go down to the bottom and check it and it, that's what you've stitched so it takes it out that's that's really I cool i like that i'm really impressed yeah yeah so i'm real excited um to try this out um and then on this side right here um it shows you how many stitches you have done it just keeps totaling them up mm -hmm. um and then also each symbol you notice has a number that's how many stitches of that particular color are in the chart. Oh, wow. wow. So, yeah. That's awesome. I'm, yeah. Is, yeah, I think it's a, for every chart that you like, because I have several geckos. If I wanted to use that, I mean, do I pay like an extra fee for the? Yeah. Chart? So, so if you want the PDF, from uh, for the geckos, um, you can choose to buy both the paper and the PDF version. Oh. And so um, now, like some of the geckos are not in print anymore, and I don't think you can, you know, request those. Right. But you know, all the ones that are on their website, they're working on uh, getting PDFs loaded on the site. I like that. Yeah, so, yeah, so I think it's going to make full coverage stitching a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, um, Thank you. So, anyhow, that. back to, <laughs> yeah, I have two, um, I'm probably going to start both of them because one of them, this one's 14 count. It's, <laughs> I, I chose this one when I kind of was new to stitching. Um, so, it's I on 14 that. count. And that's, you know, all the colors in it. Um, so I think I'm going to start it. And then I'm going to start Frank here. Um, because he, he, I got him an 18 count. Which I have never stitched on 18 count. But I wanted to see if I liked it. Mm -hmm. You know, for using two threads. Right. Um, and then I do have some more gecko charts that are um, the 25 count. So I need to try those out too and just find what I like. I love those. So, yeah. They have several of those with the uh Yeah, yeah. Shots. This um this artist is Marcus Jones. Yeah. And he has a lot of them that are just I think they're really neat. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah. So um that's what I'm up to. Okay. Okay. Well now for the tour, the whip tour. <laughs> The whip parade. I've been all over the place. Like I haven't yeah. been able to just do the one. Speed stitcher. <laughs> <laughs> did you say how many did you say you had? Seven? I have seven that I'm gonna show. Okay. Um so the first is the um Chester's Place by Whistle Stop Stitcher Defines. And so on this one, Whoa. oh my gosh. I finished the lettering and I started on the house. You've come a long way. So, and this is the one that I'm doing the um the sal for grouchy. Okay. So, that's what I have done on that one. That's a lot. Yeah, I finished all the lettering and started the house. I like the border on it. And yeah. it, I like the colors. The colors are very pretty. And the border lined up. That's yes. That's always an exciting thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And this one, now the um, Dark Queen of the Sea, um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Golly. That is huge. I started adding her uh, the bottom 
part. Uh -huh. um, so she's definitely like some kind of octopus, like a squid or something. Right. Yeah, she's a stitch along, right? Yeah, so she is. slowly <laughs> releasing. Yes. Yeah, I love the colors. So not like a so mermaid. Bright. Yeah, it's hashtag not a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like her. I think she has a really pretty face. Now, uh -huh. is there beading and stuff going to be on this one or just stitches? There is beading, yes. Oh, there is? Yes. I, I don't think it's like a lot of beading, but like I know that like her necklace, um, there's other places on her that you can tell there's going to be spaces for beads. Um, well, it's, it's better to have beads than French knots, in my <laughs> opinion. See, I, got pretty, I got pretty used to doing French knots, so I don't have a problem yeah. with that. Yeah. If you if you do them and do them and do them, then you'll like them. But otherwise, they're right pain. Yeah. Um, and then I'm also doing the death by cross stitch with Lisa. Sorry, there's a glare. On my... Which makes Lisa's look like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah. Uh. Wow. So that's what I've got done. I did the bird, added the flower. Yeah, I think I'm just down to like where the bird is going across. Uh, this other side? No, the other, the, see that the one? Oh, right this, above, the know, bird one? up in the corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing mine on, it's the picture this plus. Um, 32 count Highland. Highland. I love that color. Oh, so you are doing a 32 count. Yeah. And I, it I, you like it? I do like it. Yeah. I finally have gotten used to it where mm -hmm. I like to use a magnifying glass, but if I don't have one, I can still work on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then I've also been working on a, uh, gecko. Um, Sandy Garfield for Edgar. Oh, I love that one. And I started, I was working on the corner, but it's like really confetti, confetti, confetti. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So I sort of like stopped working in the corner and started working on the cat. Oh, yeah. And that's a 14 count, right? Yeah, this is a 14 count. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think the coverage is fine. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I know at first you weren't sure about the coverage on it, but yeah, I, I, I think it's just fine. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, like his black hair, you can see the white. Well, yeah. But you're not going to be looking at it up close. Right. And that's what I need to keep. Uh, it's a lot more relaxing doing a, a loop, you know, two thread loop start. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, so I got a new, <clears throat> and so I had to start it. <laughs> uh, this one is Medusa Dollmaker. Oh. oh. Dracula. And it's huge. This is... Look at this. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh. I I know. <laughs> How many pages is that? A lot. <laughs> I'll look, but that's my start. It's a skull start. Yeah. But oh, I need you got the new is that the new twenty five count that they have? Yes. Okay. Because I wanted to try it out because I I wanted, like Holly, I sort of wanted to figure out what is my preference. What and is that's one thread? Yes, one thread. One over one. One over one, yes. Yeah. What is the finish size going to be? Oh, Lord. Let me tell you. Huge. <laughs> um... I mean, it's not too bad. It's 20 by 29. Wow. 
And <laughs> is wow. Hank is gonna be that's gonna be larger than Frida. Yeah, I know. So ninety pages. Wow. But I mean, it's pretty. Look at look at that. It's very pretty. Yeah. How many different colors are in it? Oh my gosh, a lot. Isn't it funny? <laughs> By looking at it, you think it must be eight or nine. You know, yeah. color. You know, because they're no. yeah, it's it's just like uh, red and black and some white. Maybe let let me guess. Um, seventy. Ninety. Not as high as you guys thought. There's 53. Oh. oh, okay. So not not that bad. 53 colors. Woo. And then um, I take my granddaughter to gymnastics. And so um, I started taking my ink circles mm -hmm. uh, while she's, because they're the dragons. Uh, at her gymnastics place. And so I've been working on the fire dragons. Mm. Oh, I love that. Love that on that fabric. I like your needle minder too. Why, thank you. Hey, I have that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and then my last one is very different for me. It's the first time that I've done this. I bought a, um, it's not counted cross stitch, but it's um, printed on the canvas. And I went on Amazon and um, I found this, it's Stitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's just so cute. So I'm doing them for my granddaughter's room. And the thing about doing something like this is that like if you're sitting in waiting like for the bank or whatever you're sitting there for 10 minutes you can grab this and pick it up and just stitch some while you wait um, but I got the corner done this is like the little nice so. and I love those too because all the symbols are printed right on there so yeah you don't it's have to carry right. a bunch of paper around with you it's all right there right there yeah that's really relaxing yeah i really have enjoyed it so yep so that's it on my whips nice yeah nice 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 okay so next um i have a little bit of haul you guys have haul uh i do okay so i bought um some picture this plus fabric uh call it's ancient and i got a size that it's 32 count and i got a size that is 13 by 18 and a size that is 18 by 26. so um if you look at this oh that's pretty isn't that pretty that's a picture of this plus one? Yes, and it's called Ancient. And I'll show you the bigger one. It's it's the same, you know. Oh, yeah. Modeling on it. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. Did you spill your drink? I did. I heard something go down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving my stuff right now. <laughs> Oh, it didn't get on your st your stuff, did it? A little bit. Oh. Only on a piece of fabric. A blank one? Or one you haven't stitched? Oh, Laura. Oh! <gasps> you need to go throw it in the dryer really quick? Would that work? Or should I go, like, hang it on the shower? Was so it a Coke? No, it's just tea. Oh. I think yeah, go fun. hang it up over something. All right. You guys continue, and I will rejoin you. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay. So I bought... It's okay. So I got this fabric, and then I bought two uh, cross-stitch 
charts off of Etsy from a shop called Stitching Spell. And they were on sale. I think both of these charts were less than $3. And so cute. This first one is called Forest, Forest Number One. Oh, yeah. It's real abstract. Yeah. Isn't that neat? I, I love like that one. And this is the this is the Etsy shop. Stitching spell. Okay. So I got that one. And then got this other one, which is so neat. I love it. Um, the same stitching spell. And this is um didn't really have a name on here. The chart just says Q number six. <laughs> so I don't uh, know what the name of it is. But anyway, it's Quaker style. And check it out. Look at that. I love that. Look at that. Coming in. I love anything with the, with the death moth in it. See the skulls on the border? Never... The skulls are on the border. Got the raven, the death moth. Uh, you know, all kinds of good stuff on there. Mm -hmm. And this was another chart that was less than $3. I love it. Mm -hmm. Because nice. even though it's done in black and white, you could you could have little bits of color everywhere on there. Oh, or yeah. Even, even if you just added color to the death moth. Yeah. And left everything else black. That would be mm -hmm. really cool. So, anyways. Those, that's my haul this week all right well uh, i ordered more but yeah, well yeah i ordered more so did I. I can't help myself but um so i did i'm part of the uh chromatic alchemy uh fabric club mm -hmm. and we got one this week that this is one of my favorites now um Ooh. it's just you know a lot of pinks and purples and oh that's pretty yeah and I get I get twenty eight count. Um, I, I think it's I should probably change the thirty two count. But yeah, she her fabrics are just just so pretty, and this yeah. is one of my favorites now. Um, and then that's your doggy. Um, I got I went is back to I went back to to the honey pot, also called <laughs> Saber. <laughs> oh, <my God>. um, <laughs> and I did find this, which I, you know, anything with rabbit rabbits, that's another oh, by the work basket. little animal. I, yeah, the work basket, it was $1.99, and it came with the fabric. And this is a pattern that I will stitch. Yeah. Um, and then this next one that I got from Savers. I don't think I'll stitch this, this, you know, bird. I mean, I think he's nice and all, but, um, but I got, got it for the fabric because I thought oh it was just a really gosh. pretty, you know, blue color. $2.99? Yeah, $2.99. And that's a good size piece right there. What's it say on there? On the uh, well, it had the price on it, oh. $25.92, which it was probably <laughs> bought 10 years ago. Right, yeah. You know, it's a it's a good size piece. I believe it's twenty eight count too. So, oh. um, and then, um, so when I had my antique booth, there was a lady that had a booth um, a couple aisles over from me, mm -hmm. and um, she carried uh, Clarence House fabrics, um, and they were just like examples of it. But I found, this is all linen, and it's pretty neutral colors. Well, except for that yellow. Um, so you got, I've got black, you know, kind of a beige, brown. Uh, there's a dark brown. Um, and then there's this funny little piece. Oh, um, that's fun. But I got all of this for $2. 
not. <laughs> Holly. Oh, you yeah, that was, my, that was pretty will exciting. Will you be my buyer, please? <laughs> because, you know. Well, and then she also had a bunch of, she had another bag that had just, like, velvets in it. And I thought, well, this will be good for, like, a backing. Right? Oh, yeah. Smaller pieces. There's a real or pretty if you make um, the, purple. If you make the little drum, the little drums, and you mm -hmm. make the little um, top pin cushion part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, I'm going to get these too because I got a whole stack. And I, yeah, the, the whole stack was $8. Oh my gosh. So, you know, I'll just put this, put this back and. But yeah, there's real neutral colors too. There's some grays and browns. Um, so anyhow. Well, if if you're not shopping for yourself, just think what would Laura and Lisa like? <laughs> like you you can okay. have any of that. I'll get it for them. <laughs> you can have any of that stuff. Yeah, whenever we uh, are gonna finish something, we need to go head to Holly's house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and she has, you know. She has a ton of really pretty fabrics, all, all clearance house. So you you guys might want to stop by. The yeah. Booth. Oh yeah. Um, I think. Well, I'm gonna let Laura go because she has a she has a very big well, thing that she bought. I do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start on my little pile. Um, and I'll try to go fast. Um, I got the Glendon Place Red Velvet. Mm. Mm. Um, I got this because I've been stitching the plum pudding, which this is like another one in the series. And then it came with the dinky dyes and the beads. Where did you buy that from? I got that off the stash unload. Oh, okay. So... Uh, and I also got this off the same place. It's the ink circles. Mm -hmm. And it's, oh, is that like a checkerboard or something? It's solitaire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. And it came with the silks. Oh, wow. So I think that's, it, it came with both the designs. There's like a, a checkerboard and a solitaire one. Yeah. The game board is called Mate. So, uh, I got the sky. He's oh, in the, um, no. uh, what is it called? Printed, pre-printed cross-stitch pattern. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. Dreaming uh, of goldfish. <laughs> and then Lisa and I went to um, Cece's and I saw this chart called um, Grandmother. It's a lavender and lace. And uh, they didn't have it in stock, but I went online and I found it. Pretty. Pretty. But not something I normally would pick, but we saw the, um, the model of it. Mm -hmm. it's really, it's a sweet, it's really cute. Yeah. Then, um, my stash is huge, and I'm not ashamed, <laughs> by Waxing Moon. After seeing Holly's uh, Rosewood Manor and a forest grew, <laughs> I had to get it because yeah. Holly, you do one little motif a day. You'll have it done in no right. time. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I got that. And for the fabric, um, I got the Picture This Plus um, Oaken. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Uh, which is a uh, uh, 32 count linen. And then from Ink Circles again, I got the uh, Wash Your Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. It's so cute. I and I also got um, Petal Pusher. Oh, yeah. Ready. Maravilia. I've just really been 
loving them lately. Ever since I got that first one. Um, I got the new release. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that one called? It's Echo Lake. Oh. And I got the, you know, like the beads that go with it. Yeah, oh, pretty. Uh, and another Rosewood Manor, the Griffins. Um, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just, I love Griffins. I got this lovely Welcome to Catsville bag. <laughs> and it's just too cute. I can't take it. And where did you get, get that, that one? This one, uh, there's a girl on one of the cross stitch sites that sometimes she has these. Oh. And I forgot her name. If I remember, I'll put it in the comments. What's but the brand? Is it's is it a different than Blue Q or is it Blue Q? It is different from Blue Q. But it's a similar Yes. Type it's the girl that I bought the cat bags from you guys. Okay, right. So I gotcha. I have that card. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I had those. I'll show them the next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, the doll maker again. I love that one. Mm. Holly, you need to start this one too, and then we'll have a stitch along. Because you have that, right? I need to start anything. Well, start this one too. Um, I got Uncle Sam, Bent Creek. Cute. Garden Dogs by Carriage House Sampling. That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Art String uh, Sampling. It's the Flag Day. Oh, I have not seen that one. That's I amazing. just got it. It. I mean, I just got it like maybe a week ago. Oh my God. And then this is like dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> I Prairie Moon is like the one that I collect. I did not have this one. I found it on Stash Unload for uh, ten dollars. It's the Prairie Moon Spring Train. Woo. Oh, wow. I'm just like, so I know it's like, I'm really excited about it. Spring training. Another Ink Circles uh, swimming hole. Oh. There's like a school and then oh. there's like these little moles. I'll be right back. I'm what like, what are oh they're moles? I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, isn't that cute? Oh. How and funny. It, it's it, a series uh called Bad Neighborhoods. Uh-huh. And so now I need to find the other five. Oh. <laughs> but so they're like well, I'll have to look that up and see what the other yeah, what the other ones, ones are. Yeah. Uh, and then I got the Peacock Welcome. Oh, yeah. And that's another rosy. Very pretty. Uh, another Kathy Barrick. Um, Gregory in the Garden. So it's a bird one. Oh, yeah. Uh, primitive Hair Ghostly Cakes. Ooh. <laughs> that was another like stash unload. Um, I know a lot of times with her, um, uh, I forget her first name, the gal with uh, is it Isabel with primitive hair. Oh, I know, of, I know a lot of times if you don't see a chart on her website. Mm -hmm. If you message her, a lot of the times she'll get you it. Oh, so really? So, yeah. So, if there's something that you see that you really, really want, I don't know. I mean, I don't know 
if she does it for all of them, but I know that I've had charts that I haven't seen right. on her thing before, and I said, oh, I'm really looking for this one. She's like, no problem. Oh, so no. This one is for Holly. <laughs> and it came How with a little cute. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot mine. That's for me? Yes. Thank you. Where's mine? You're welcome. I'm, I'm going to go get out mine. to your house Hold now. On. I know. That's what you Hold should on. have for game night tonight. Well, and do you have the sticker that you you got yep. for me? Yep. I'm going to show that. Is it nearby? Yep. That's going to go on my car. I got, because Holly and I both like the, the color green, I got green for us, and I got Lisa a blue one. <laughs> but it's a cross-stitch skull. And that's off of Etsy. Yeah, this one is, um, let me look to see her name. Uh, Sonova Stitch. Okay, yeah. He, uh, gives oh, like, yeah. Blue one. Lisa's blue one. Yeah. And one of the things that were, um, the spoiler alert, I got a gold one that's going to go with one of our giveaways. Yay! Ooh! For <laughs> the car. Um, and then for myself, I got the cat. Oh. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, how funny. <laughs> and that's an Etsy store. Uh, this one is the same lady who had the, it looks like the Q bag, but it's, it's and she just randomly puts them up that, there. That uh -huh. picture reminds me of the movie Signs. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes. And they're all wearing the collar. Yep. And the... <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, uh, so here's the one that uh, Laura got me. Aw. A little and, gender. Uh, Oh, that's like Rosie the Riveter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that cute? Cute. And then, yeah. So when you're done, I remind me I have something else when you're done. Okay. And then I got this from Vintage Owl. Um, Vintage Owl. Owl. Yep. It's a, uh, because I'm, I'm thinking about doing the um, Owl Forest uh wizard the wizard of oz yeah mm -hmm. got like the plaid inside oh yeah mm -hmm. so nice and then from judy oh that's Aww. cute isn't that cute yes it's got like the steampunk yeah so i got that and I'm getting down to the bottom. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one. Ooh, the Willow. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? Try and hold that off to the side to the one you are, are stitching in the background. Can you see the one in the background? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Look. Oh, is you right. so you started that one? No, that one's the. Uh, That's a different. Oh, the okay. Pearl Woods. Is that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, that's what when I saw her, she sort of has like she's holding like the leaves just like mm -hmm. she. And I thought it would be a great like companion piece. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and I got all of her beads. Pretty. Very pretty. Um, Halloween. Oh, that's oh. cute. I love it. Isn't that cute? Yes. Of course, I'm a sucker for Halloween. Uh, and then I just got some different pictures. This plus, I got um, this one's ale. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is a Stephanie uh, caramel mocha. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. And then uh, gingerbread. Mm, pretty. Oh, I love that. So I figured I needed a few more neutrals because I usually go. Those are great ones. Yeah, the, the opposite way. Um, <laughs> this shirt. 
<laughs> I'm going to steal that shirt. <laughs> Isn't it great? Love it. And then yeah. my kids for Mother's Day got me a shirt that um, it says, a day without cross-stitching is like, just kidding, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's for true. sure, right? I stitch every day. And I'm at the bottom. Okay. I got this kit um, from Lady.Creates. It's called Green Tea. Ooh. Hmm. You know what's really funny? It has some tea on it right now. You see it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's Oh, it got in your package. It's not in the package. Oh, okay. So. Well, that's good. <laughs> but it's really pretty because they have, like, different... Um, velvet pieces and trim and pins uh -huh. and buttons yeah i like the color. now where did you buy that um this one i got um from lady dot designs she actually mm -hmm. has like um kits that she sells oh is it is she on is it on etsy or is it just a website it's on etsy oh, okay yeah lady dot create um she sells like kits and they're like different themes Mm -hmm. And so I got the green tea theme. Okay. That now that's, a, that's a neat one. I got the Halloween Eagle. Ah. Ribbon. I have three things left. Uh, Frosted. The kitty. Oh. oh. And that's another stamp. Like that. That's a stamp. Yeah. Another stamped, and this one is as well. It's a stamped. Oh, that's pretty. And I got those on Amazon. And then this is officially my favorite cross stitch book. It's um, Brenda Keys, The Ultimate Sampler Motif. Oh, yeah. I need to get that because. Well, you know, all of these, like she says that, like, if you want to share, like, a design, you can do it because these are all taken from samplers. Have you, guys, have you guys ever bought a Brenda Keys sampler? No, but I've been looking at them. They, they, are, they are beautiful. And the way mm -hmm. she packages them is incredible. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. She... Well, that it's got the real photo on the front and it's backed on a cardstock, uh, so really firm cardstock piece of paper. And that like the one I had, the, the patterns are re really large, so they're really mm -hmm. easy to read. And then um, on mine, it also came with um, another plastic bag to keep your pattern chart and stuff in to keep it like clean clean uh-huh and then it came with a little uh of a, a, a whole a sheet that explained about all the different types of uh uh sampler motifs like what the, what their meaning and stuff mm. is uh-huh mm. and gave you a history on some of that kind of stuff then they gave you like a little um little thank you card kind of thing and then they gave you a little um uh, a little card to fill out and attach to the back of your finished piece mm -hmm. and uh, then it came with a card that was about this big this wide and it was your shopping list of all the flosses and everything you needed so you could just put it in your purse and take it with you hmm. That's so, nice. yeah, they package their stuff really, I mean, it's impeccable. Really, yeah. really impeccable. Well, I'm definitely going to be buying more of her books because, I mean, yeah. really, I mean, so many different, like, books that you can use. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah. Oh, and I do have the last thing. Sorry, I did have one more thing. Lisa got me this bag, <laughs> and <laughs> that's what I had forgotten. I was like, oh, this bag, and she got me one, too, and it's upstairs. This 
little T wallet. Oh yeah. Little T wallet. So you can put open it up again and you can put your your little bags of tea and your little packets of creamer and your little stir sticks and whatever. And then it snaps shut. So if you go to a friend's <laughs> house or you go to your mom's house or wherever it is, you can take your own. If you have your own favorite tea that you like, you can take mm -hmm. it with you and whatever. So the website that um, the lady that had those, um, it was on. I don't know if I can. Let's see. See the name there? It's going to glare. Uh -huh. but 2 a.m. Designs. Okay. So mm -hmm. the the project bags, the zipper, show your zipper project bag again. Those were $10. And, and they're a good I size. See. Yeah. The other bags, they're, they're the drawstring bags. They sit, they have a flat bottom. Those were $10. And wow. you can use those, you know, you could use them as a purse, a little craft bag, you know, put, you know, anything in. If you got to run a little errand, you could use it as a lunch bag, whatever. Those were $10. And then the little wallets were $6. And I thought those were so cute. Yeah, they so are. Cute. The ones I bought myself, I, um, this color, it's kind of a pale green with some pink in it you know pretty and so just same thing drawstring bag <laughs> i think they're adorable and her sewing is exquisite i mean mm -hmm. it's her sewing is wonderful and then i bought another one this color mm. oh yeah that's and fun. then the tea wallet that i have is this little pink with the flowers um with the little polka dot inside. And I had bought another one and I've lost it. Oh, <laughs> I can't find no. it. I'm hoping I didn't throw it out inadvertently with a, you know, but I don't know. I'm going to look in the like, chair cushions and th see if maybe yeah. it fell. I mean, you'll find it. Chair cushion. I have lost it. It's somewhere in this house, unless it got thrown out, which I hope it didn't. But, um, Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I, hopefully it's around here somewhere, but I can't find it. So anyways, so is that everybody's haul? Yep. Oh, well, yep. Laura, you then you get a new stand. I got a stand. It's a Lowry stand, and I left it in my bedroom. But if you haven't tried Lowry stands and you want something that's affordable, I recommend them. It's been wonderful. I love stitching with it. And yeah. I got Clementine, an orange one, because the green one was sold out. But guess who got a green one? Holly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and I. I Guess just whose got orange it one would go really good? Oh, that's the little scrap arm. room. <laughs> um, and then this is the base. So I'm going to try it out tonight. But it looks like it, you know, you put it together, it's real simple. It is very simple. Uh, unlike my other stand that has so many parts to it, it's just mind boggling. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I guess. The other thing we have is our 500 subscriber. Thank you. So we've got <laughs> two different, I don't want to say giveaway. It's a giveaway, but we're not going to say, you, know, you don't say that. <laughs> thank you. But <laughs> it's a thank you. So. Um, the first one, let's show the, the, the first one is a cross stitch chart with all of the floss. I'm going to take it out so you can see it without a glare. Okay. It's really cute. We'll let you guys pick the fabric, but, <laughs> but, um, we've got the chart plus all of the floss that goes with it. It's a um, stitchery. 
Autumn Lane Aww. Stitchery Love on a Limb. It is the most adorable thing. It is and so I'm cute. All the flosses. All the flosses. Will come wow. With it. So that's one of our, I don't want to say prize, but what can we say? Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> one of our thank yous. <laughs> Um, so if you are interested in this chart, um, make, leave a comment and let's say something about owls. Okay. Say something about owls. All right. Our next one, we will have to thank our good friend, Judy Starkey for making such beautiful bags because this next one is a complete set of bags from Judy Starkey. So we've got the bag, the um, the tray, and the thread bed. There's the bag. Those colors. There's the tray. And there is the beautiful <laughs> thread bed. Oh, look at the front of it on that one, on the thread bed. Oh. Look at that. That's oh, yeah. real. Let's see the other side. Oh, got the diamond showing. I love yeah. it. And so, this also. Oh, and that also. This is a, like a car de decal. You now, can, is, that, no. is that a separate? No, it'll go with this one. With the bags? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if you are interested in the bag set with the decal, uh, let's say something. Graffiti? Graffiti. That's, that's the name of the fabric, I think, is graffiti. Yeah. Use the word graffiti. Anyway. And so we'll, pro and yeah, we wish everybody luck. <laughs> and we're going to give you guys until um we'll probably film not next week but the week after we'll we're looking at filming on the 29th unless something comes up which could happen but we're looking at filming on the 29th so let's say you have until the 27th to leave a comment um you can enter for both so here's what we're gonna do though you can enter for both but you only will win one that way someone else will have an opportunity to win the other one. So, but you can, or you can enter for both, no props. So, um, anyway, I think that's it. We'll give you till the 27th and the same thing. Don't say giveaway, don't say any of those phrases, but for the, again, for the um, owl chart and the, with all the flosses say, did we say owl for that yeah. one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Say owl. Use that. Um, use it in a sentence. I want a sentence. Use it. In a sentence. <laughs> and the same with the bags. If you want to, uh, if you're interested in the bags, use the word graffiti in a sentence. <laughs> and you'll have till the 27th. And I think that is all for us today. I think that's yes. it everybody for liking and subscribing we yes thank, thank you. you so much and thank you for hanging in there with us live and during the pandemic so, and with 2021 so far has been a little yeah bit of a roller coaster so thanks for hanging in there everybody and i would just i have a quick question um mm -hmm. i would like to know um if any of you guys are planning on going to galleria oh yes Seattle. Lewis. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if you're pl planning on going to Galleria, just mention it down in the comments. Um, yeah. We're all going. Um, I know Lauren, uh, Laura Landis is going from Black Needle, and I believe Katie, her daughter, is going as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I'm real excited about it. Uh, we're going to stay all four nights. And so I know Pam and Steph fun. normally go. Uh, mm -hmm. and I, I, I think they're planning on going. Yeah, uh, Connie uh, and Melina. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they. And go. Judy, Judy, from Judy Judy's goes. Bags, she's going. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I just mentioned it. I'm curious. 
Yeah. To see who who all is going. So. Oh, yeah. It, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I lo I love Galleria. Yeah, I'm really Galleria. I'm looking forward to it. So. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Okay. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you again for hanging in with us and for subscribing. We just love all you guys, and uh, we will see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Take Bye. care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.